Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a review of my Springfield Armory XDS coming right up. Hello and welcome to the Tactical Channel. I'm your host as always Tactical and today we're going to go ahead and be doing a review of my Springfield Armory XDS in 45 ACP. Um, this particular pistol, I've had this for two, probably two and a half years. Um, I bought this right after they got the uh, trigger situation figured out. Um, they gave them a hiccup at launch, so once they had that figured out, I went out and bought one. Uh, I bought 45 just because that's what my uh, full size XD is, and um, I wanted to keep in the same caliber. I just I like 45 for me a lot personally. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk about this little pistol. Uh, like I mentioned earlier in the video, it is a 45 ACP Springfield XDS. Um, this is the bitone version with the uh, stainless steel slide black polymer grip. It is a striker fired pistol. The uh, sights that are on this pistol are um, reasonably high vis. You've got your two dots in the back with a um, fiber optic there in the front. I always tell myself I'm going to change it. I just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, it shows up pretty good. I like the sight picture that's on it. So I know that uh, these can break, the, the little fiber optics. But um, so far, I haven't had any issues with it, so I haven't worried too much about it. Um, these little guys uh, don't really weigh too much. It's uh, 21.5 ounces, empty. The barrel length on these are 3.3 inches, although I believe there's a 4 inch barrel version out now. Um, the total length of the handgun is um, 6.3 inches. The height with a 5 round magazine inserted into it is uh, 6.3 inches. I'm sorry, it's 4.4 uh, inches. The uh, grip width on this is 0.9 inches so it's just under an inch it's it's really a lot easier to carry than um, a, a full-size XD um, which is my other carry pistol for like the winter months or months where I can layer up a little this is more of my summer carry um, and then like I mentioned the uh, fiber optic sights has an ambidextrous magazine button um, that works extremely well has this grip safety which um, I'm not a super fan of but I've never had one of these not go off because I didn't have the 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 grip safety depressed also has a trigger safety and a uh, loaded chamber indicator here this will be popped up a little bit if it is uh, has one in the chamber has your uh, basic breakdown of uh, all the XDs or really polymer pistols at this point where you put that up rotate let your slide slide forward squeeze the trigger and then you have your uh, uh, spring your barrel and then you just pull those out to do your um, field strip and cleaning then to put it back together you just pull it all the way back push up the button rotate that down let it go home, release your uh, tension, and then you're good to go. Um, when you buy one of these, you get a lot of stuff with it. You get one five round magazine, which fits flush, and that's generally the magazine that I use when I'm carrying. And then it also comes with a seven round backup magazine in 45 ACP, and it has this little extender. Um, and this is generally what I carry like in my other pocket or on my waist as my backup mag so I got my uh, two extra rounds there. Um, stuff that you also get in this case uh, when you buy your XDS is you get um, your literature up there in the, the top which we're not going to look at get your gun lock which also works as a bike lock because why would you ever lock your gun but um, they, they work for other things. I put them on foot lockers and stuff all the time but uh, they're over over here is where your two magazines are located your pistol 
uh, your bore cleaner and um, gun lock comes with a magazine pouch that uh, fits on your belt um, I don't really use these I use them like if I go to the range not this particular one um, I'll show you the other one that I use if I uh, go to the range but they work for that I don't know um, that I'd really use these for EDC um, a second back strap for your pistol and then a um, semi-decent outside the waistband paddle holster um, nothing super special but it's just you know an added value so if you really only had the money for the pistol you could carry with this and it would be reasonably okay um, now once a year Springfield also has a uh, gear up event where if you buy a pistol from them you all uh, send in your receipt and uh, you get a voucher for free magazines um, the last several years it was three magazines but I just checked and this year I, they're still running their gear up uh, promotion um, where you're gonna get four magazines instead of three but when you uh, send all that in a few weeks later like several weeks we're talking like two months so don't be in a hurry um, you get uh, three magazines in this case they send you three five round magazines for 45 ACP and another um, belt magazine holder along with this little extender um, for your uh, longer magazines if you have an extra one laying around so those uh, their magazines generally run anywhere between twenty five and thirty dollars so you figure twenty five dollars a piece is seventy five dollars worth of stuff that you get for free basically when you purchase your handgun if you do it at the right time so I would say when you buy these hold off until you know that they have their gear up event and then buy one uh, so that you'll end up with five magazines which is really all you need for a uh, concealed carry pistol so uh, just to give you a look at what it looks like with the seven round magazine in there um, it's a loaded magazine but will be okay so you can see significantly longer but you can get your whole hand on the grip whereas if you pop that out and you put your five round magazine in there uh, I have to dangle my pinky there but uh, it's generally okay I haven't really noticed uh, too big of a deal over having to dangle that pinky with uh, firing um, so pros and cons of this this is an extremely carryable pistol um, you know if I'm just wearing a pair of gym shorts or something I have to run to the store real quick guarantee you this is the one that I'm picking up throwing it in my pocket and I'm going or uh, using the sticky holster that I have for this uh, sticky brand uh, I'll just put it in the holster tuck it inside my waistband uh, it's like a neoprene material, so it sort of sticks to your skin a little bit and your, your, uh, the tension from your shorts or underwear or both are going to be enough to hold that to your body. Um, you know, you're not going to be able to go running with it, but you know, to walk into a store and walk back out, you're fine with. Or, you know, sometimes I'll throw this in a cargo pocket. Um, I also have a Swift Draw holsters um, inside the waistband holster that uh, works really well for this too if you want to go like more comfortable and have it uh, more secured on your body so just to have a size comparison of a full size let's get this out of the way here we have my um, full sized XD uh, in 45 ACP this is the 4 inch barrel so you can see overall it's a lot shorter than the full size let's bring that in the frame here I'm having some trouble working around the camera but uh, you can see how it's a lot shorter um, both vertically and front to back and then this also is a ton thinner and that's really where it gets easier to like put it in a pocket or something like that to carry with you um, I love this handgun the, the full size one I do carry this as a winter carry also for home defense um, hopefully I'll have in the video somewhere around here um, the video for this handgun if you want to look at it highly recommended uh, has a Glock light on the front no it's not a video for that it'll hopefully be somewhere over here um, highly recommended uh, 
I carry that in a swift draw holster also. Um, but sometimes just a tire doesn't let you wear something this big. But I can wear basically whatever I want and I have room for this guy. So, um, other than that, uh, the, the only real drawback that I've had with it is um, when I loaded up all the magazines and fired them all in rapid succession. Um, I got some pain in the web of my hand um, from just the, the recoil and it wasn't anything that um, you know was too unmanageable or anything I just noticed that I got a little bit uncomfortable by the time I was done with uh, five magazines um, of 45 out of this um, and I was just dropping them on the ground and reload and just see if I could get it to fail by uh, you know hurrying up and firing and the reason that, that it you know, it makes it a little uncomfortable on, on the web of your hand is that it's a little thinner um, so it's you know that pressure is on a thinner surface area which is part of the reason why you buy this is because it's thinner so just to let you know if you're gonna you know take it out for range time um, you know it's not bad for a couple magazines take a break couple magazines take a break but if you think you're gonna stand there and just do magazine after magazine it's gonna eventually start hurting your hand a little bit whereas a full-size one like this the, the recoil is a lot easier to handle um, the thick the just the weight of it from being bigger and also the thickness of it uh, really helps mitigate that so that's really my only drawback but if you're buying this for the thinness you just understand that's going to happen uh, these are about $500 new um, plus or minus I'd say about $50 depending on where you're at so anywhere between $550 and $450 um, like I said you're gonna get two magazines your holst paddle holster, your magazine holder, then if you buy it during the gear up event you're gonna get four extra magazines plus another uh, uh, another um, magazine holder and I would say that that is a fabulous deal. Um, five magazines and an outstanding 45 caliber uh, uh, compact handgun is fabulous. So I rank this thing um, 9 out of 10 and the only reason it's not getting a 10 out of 10 is because of the recent controversy Springfield Armories found themselves uh, embroiled in. Um, if you don't know about that um, they got in a little bit of trouble. Um, they were backing some basically uh, anti-gun legislation um, but with carve outs for, for just them. Um, I understand why they do but it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. I'd, I'd still buy these and I'd still recommend them but not cool like your your thing is to your your whole marketing thing is second amendment and there you are you know trouncing all over it so can't talk about these right this second without talking about that so anyway nine out of ten on the recommendation scale uh, if you guys have any questions about it or you know you like a a, a different uh, maker you know go ahead and comment that in the description below um, as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can be one of the first to view my videos as they become available. Until next time, tack out.